I love living in Hawaii. If the end times uh, play by play gets too much for me, I always know I can just uh, walk around the beach drinking rum and coke like a bum. I don't um, I don't drink anymore, but sometimes you get those like with me. As time goes on, the bad stuff gets filtered out and only the good stuff remains. You start thinking back about, you know, only the good stuff. Like, yeah, I was, you know, I was a junkie for six years, but, you know, I had some fun shoplifting. <laughs> it's like only the good things uh, come back. I never shoplifted for uh, my habit. I would only uh, buy what I could with legally obtained currency, and if I didn't have any, I didn't rob, I didn't steal, I didn't do anything, I just withdrew. Withdrawal is not a big deal. The, the thing about withdrawal that people get freaked out about is the thought of having withdrawals. Um, yeah, you're going to get sick, but if you get, um, what is it, Metamucil, get a bunch of Metamucil, get some dark chocolate, or some uh, Kratom. Kratom will save your ass. Kratom will take the, the withdrawal right away. It's a great supplement. You can get it at any head shop. It's a leaf. It's just a leaf that's like ground up. It's from South America. You probably know where it's from. I've consumed so much of it. But um, yeah, that, that'll get you right off it. In fact, it got me off it completely. Like, I, I don't do pills anymore. It's been years now, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. basically every time I knew I was running out of stuff and I couldn't get money together, I'd just be like, well, I'll go get some Kratom. And then I just stayed on it. And when I stayed on it, it kills the... Uh, it kills the craving for junk, you know? So, uh, that was it. And I never went back. And I never went back. I don't know, it's been, what, 10 years now? Maybe less. Maybe, maybe more like 8 years. Yeah, because I was doing it on the plane coming here. In fact, when I was coming here... <laughs> uh, this is how far gone you get sometimes when you're on that trip. I was like, I'm going to... I had a whole bottle, right? To bring back here. To kind of wean myself off of it. And I said, fuck it, I don't, I don't, I'm just going to do this whole bottle. <laughs> I remember sitting on the plane, crushing it up, right there on the tray in front of me. People all around me. You just don't care. When, when you get to a certain point with that shit, you don't think logically. You don't think, of, maybe I should keep this down. Maybe I, I mean, I knew enough to like kind of uh, cover my head or put a magazine in my head when I went to snort it. But I was busting up lines right there on the, on the counter. And then, then when I got off the plane, I went into a, uh, what is that, Baskin Robbins. And I got my first Hawaii sticker shock. twelve ninety nine for a large shake. I was like, what, 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 what? I was like, kept looking at it. I'm like, it's for a pint of ice cream? It's for a shake, for a large shake. I got it anyway, but I don't know if it was worth $12. $12.99 plus tax. It was like $13. $13 shake, first time. I had a $13 shake, but I had a couple left, and um, I'm sitting in Baskin Robbins, and uh, right there on the table, <laughs> crush them up, and in your mind, you're like, no one cares, no one's looking, you know, everybody's looking at you, fucking psycho, and um, and that was it, and then a couple times when I was here, I, I ran into some, just from, you know, knowing people or running with, uh, you know, different groups of people, I, I came across some. And I, I took them, but um, I don't know, I never got back into it. It's just, um, w once you're out of it, and you've been out of it for a while, and then you do it, it just doesn't have the same thing. It doesn't have the same... You get, you, your body gets, uh, your body gets tired of it. I think the problem now with me and drugs and alcohol is that I've been through everything. Like, I've done all of it. So, unless they come up with something new that I would like, I just don't have any interest. <laughs> if they come up with something new, I'll try it. And hopefully uh, I don't get too into it, but. Yeah, I was cleaning up the house, the back cave upstairs, and um, every once in a while I go through this, I, I binge and purge with my collection. 
I have a very small living space. You know, if you've been up there with me, you've seen it. Um, and I'll, I'm always collecting, getting things, buying new stuff, you know. And eventually I reach a point where it's like I can't move around in there anymore. So I'll decide, all right, what am I getting rid of? All right, Transformers, I don't need. Because yeah, I collect all different crap. And then uh, what I'll do is then I give a bunch of it away. Uh, here in the building, we have a little foyer down here where, like, um, if you don't want something or you're trying to get rid of something and you live here, you place it on this bench and people can uh, take it. It's like a free leave take area. So I started the other day bringing down stuff like... Uh, a bunch of Batman stuff that was just too big. That fucking thing from Justice League. The, uh, the, from the Snyder version of Justice League. They had this bat plane. It's like the size of a car. I kept dragging it around my house. I'm like, I, there's no room for this in here. So I, I brought that downstairs and gave that away. And um, usually the stuff I bring goes pretty quickly. Because it's, you know, it's cool stuff. It's in nice condition. And, you know, if it's... Uh, if a kid doesn't want it, maybe like an older collector will want it. So I usually get rid of the stuff pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, I was, I was cleaning up in there. And things get, you know, in different corners, boxes pile up. And I, uh, I found this. Just with a bunch of jewelry and keys and stuff. Kind of weird, huh? It's all dirty. I got to clean it up a little bit. I think it was with some uh, some jewelry that Nia's grandmother gave us a long time ago. When she was dying, she gave us uh, a bunch of stuff. That's where I got this gold cross. Yeah, it's real. Um, and I just found that today. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of trippy. I've been, you know, of course, following that story like everyone else. And um, what's encouraging, man, is it's like years ago, when something like this would happen, you know, I'd watch videos and I'd go in the comment section and try to tell people what's really happening. And you'd get a lot of like, you're crazy or yeah, whatever, or, you know. But now it's like people seem to, to know that there's something, um, as far as magic, you know, as far as black magic, which is what this whole thing is, this whole... Maui thing is, is pretty much black magic bullshit. And um, that's usually a step too far. You can get conspiratorial with people as far as like rich, powerful people wanting to have more land or wanting to have more control. And now there's a kid component to this that I'm just learning about now, which people just have been seeing things pop up about it because there's always a kid component. Hawaii's really big in that as far as the uh, movement of people. I've done quite a few videos on it. I gotta be careful though, because like, if I was on the mainland, right, I could do a, a lot of great comprehensive reporting on it, but I live here, so I don't wanna get put in a van. So I gotta be careful about how I, you know, present this kind of stuff. But yeah, of course there's a component there now with that. And um, the, the thing is people will, are now becoming more comfortable with the idea of a conspiratorial bent to things. But usually, they're not willing to go to the next step, which is the magic shit, you know? But, but with this, um, you know, I've been explaining to people or, or telling people about it, like how it works or why things are happening the way they are. And... Um, not getting the regular resistance, getting a lot of, um, you know, uh, a lot of people being a lot more open about it, you know, a lot, a lot more understanding about it, that the possibility exists that, yeah, this is a, this is a thing that, that is happening. It's crazy. Um, they did, I think they, they, they overdid it though with that. They, they fucking overcooked it. I thought that from the very beginning. I thought that from the very beginning. And now they're trying to do all this stuff. And um, I kind of didn't, uh, I, I kind of knew at some point the kid thing would enter into it. It's turning out that most of the people missing are, are, are kids, you know, of course, because that's a big part of trade uh, that, that goes on here. Um, famously in the Hillary Clinton emails of years ago, she talked to 
John Podesta about missing his uh, hot dog stand in Hawaii. And that's where uh, this beautiful image uh, was created from. <laughs> from. I get a lot of mileage out of this one. I've used it in a lot of videos and a lot of uh, message boards and shit. That's a big thing here. Uh, not just for kids, but with like all, all ages. It's a huge, huge human trafficking area. Uh, it's run mainly uh, by what would be the uh, Island of Mafia, which is like a, a serious group of cultists that sort of run everything here. Uh, they work with that, with the many different warlords, you know, that, that are peppered across the island. But, uh, the big, big guys at the top, uh, are well-known people. You know, they're people you would know. Uh, crazy shit. Again, I, I live here, so I, you know, I don't really do so much about it. I mean, talk so much about it. Nothing you can do about it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll, I'll see if I could, uh, if I find some good stuff I could point you to, I could point you to some places where I don't have to say it myself, but, yeah, uh, it's a not, it's a very fluid situation over there. But people are at least being a bit more open-minded about the possibilities. Because you have to be. You know, we're, we're in that time. We're in that time of history. All right, we're gonna go in. Gonna go out later, do a little uh, demon patrol. See if we get anything. It's Monday night, but it's summertime, so even the uh, the off nights are usually pretty busy down there on Kalakaua. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.